was with Bashir possibly the best film I've ever seen easily the film of the best film of the year you know Dark Knight Wally for best animation there are no th that's no competition I love Dark Knight but this blew my mind and I don't even really need to describe that much about the film to give you examples of why this is the best film I've ever seen but if you want one of those life-changing movies that give you a completely new experience that you always look for in films a new perspective on how to think about human life you know death war the whole meaning of war it's a very existential questioning movie that will really open your eyes to not only what a human can do but you know the devastation and how we aren't designed for war and it's almost a very alien concept but yeah I mean it starts off like a typical war movie where you have accounts being told and it's all a true story and it's basically about this director it's very meta but it's about this director trying to recollect his memories about what happened during this one day of this Israeli-Lebanon conflict in 1982 or 83 and it really centers around why he can't remember this one moment in his dreams what happens after that and uh, it involves a massacre um, I don't want to spoil anything else but basically he goes to these other of his previous friends from the war and he makes them recollect their this traumatic day of an experience it's almost like a psychological thriller um, with everyone's trying to recount this traumatic life event and trying to bring it up and it's a very devastating moment um, so basically it, start, it has similarities to other war movies where it feels like it's an anti-war movie but also it's not a political movie, it has no sides and that there are uh, like throughout the first half of the movie you have like there's war scene there's sometimes contemporary pop music to be very satirical or to be a, a very dissociative way to frame the movie so it doesn't feel too powerful you know so you can't take it emotional to handle but also when it changes halfway through from this dissociative movie experience like oh it looks like a great anime movie to a very harrowing uh, you know it opens your eyes a soldier in this one scene sees these dead horses in a stable and when he asks like what did these horses do to deserve this you know I can understand the other humans but I can't understand these horses that's when the movie really blow opens your eyes to what's going on behind this movie and the whole burden of what you know there is literally no tension or release as in most of the thrillers it's the only release is when he's actually talking to someone else and you can breathe but if it's very unrelenting very powerful uh, you know very disturbing also there are some very creepy nightmares in here and they really use their animation to great effect uh, a live action movie couldn't be done like this um, so basically it's about this director trying to remember this one day of the war but the movie is very unpredictable because these soldiers think they're almost like on a field trip they think they're in a movie you know uh, and that there's this one scene where basically they're shooting everywhere in a cornfield from inside a tank yet they're not shooting at anything and it's almost this chaos of this war, this guerrilla warfare has taken over them and they don't know what to think and they've become mindless soldiers and there's this one scene that keeps on popping up where um, the director's character himself is in the sea and it's dawn and they, he and his uh, two three other soldier friends are completely naked in the sea and they see these flares go down in front of them in Beirut and he keeps on recalling that this scene three or four times during the movie but he doesn't know what it means because he's forgotten what happens afterwards and basically the movie's trying to you know it's almost like he's trying to recollect the memories to know what happens next which is very traumatic and there are some really great slow-mo shots in this animation is just mind-blowing the music is exceptional a haunted ocean which is used in the sea scene is uh, one of the most you know, powerful piece of music you'll ever hear. Um, so th I, I don't even need to describe any great scenes in the movie. The whole movie is just a masterpiece, and it definitely needs to be seen. Um, you know, f when it's 
turned from that dissociation of an animated war movie to completely different, you know, where you see dead people and it's very disturbing. And you'll never forget this experience of a movie, you know. And it, there's a great scene which has basically, you could say it's the waltz with Bashir scene, you know, it, like the title. And it's very beautiful and, you know, almost satirical. Um, so I don't really need to describe any much more of the movie or I don't want to spoil your expectations, you know, any of my favorite scenes. But you definitely need to see this movie and um, it's just, wow, the best film I've ever seen. and. Uh, you know, it got a standing ovation at the Cannes F Film Festival and it's totally deserving that. I mean, after the en movie ended, I was crying my eyes out, like, uh, I couldn't get out of my seat. It was so powerful, the burden of the whole movie, when it, there's this really unexpected change at the end that no one will figure out, and when it does, it's like, the, this animated movie becomes something real, that's all I'll spoil about it, and really you cannot this is an animated movie that like you've never seen if you like Persepolis you love this to death it doesn't you can't even relate to Persepolis because Persepolis was more about like there's a funny and serious side to uh, what's being told there but in this film it's unrelenting and it's really very powerful very emotional and very personal account of what happened and it's a triumph of a film that needs to be more recognized it easily could have if it was nominated for best picture would have easily won uh, from this whole year and you just need to see this especially if you're in the UK you can see this check your OD on the website but if you're in the US I'm not sure it has a limited release so I'm not sure if you'll have much luck but it's a movie that needs to be seen and yeah best movie I've ever seen you need to see this